No, I'm sorry. These are the last ones. Well, I really want those. Well, sorry. Last one. It's February 1st, 2011, and I am here with my beautiful co-host, Tessa. Hello, everyone. And to those of you wondering, no, I'm not sleeping with JJ. He just thinks I'm beautiful. Victoria commented on a question I asked in episode 2, which was, does monogamy work in a gay or lesbian relationship? She posted the comment in the channel comment section, so I'm sorry I totally missed it, so I wanted to read the uh, response this week. So this is what Victoria had to say. She said, yes, monogamy works in a gay relationship. I've been in one for nine years, and we have a four-and-a-half-year-old son. It always depends on personalities and priorities. Thank you so much for your comment, Victoria. Now, for this week's question, I asked, is it a self-hating thing to do to have crushes on straight people? And this is what some of you had to say. On JJ's personal email, we received the following answer from Azar, who said, Yes, it is a self-hating thing to do, but I can't help it. I'm a masochist. Then we have Apple, our channel's Wednesday, who commented and said, The crushing on straight people is fine. It never hurts to look or even take a mental pic and save it for a later time. But I would never go up to one and say, hey, nice ass, or damn, you're cute as hell. Maybe you wouldn't. I might. Thank you for sending us your viewer response. Keep them coming. A grocery store in Mountain Home, Arkansas, placed a family shield normally used to hide porn from younger eyes on a U.S. Weekly magazine that was featuring Elton John and his partner with their newborn baby. After receiving inundating phone calls from angry gays and lesbians at this number, the corporate manager decided to take the shield away and allow the magazine to be seen for what it was. In the UK, a new Ugandan woman who faces deportation to Africa fears for her life in light of the recent murder of African gay activist David Cato. British officials claim that there is insufficient evidence that she is lesbian and may be faking it in order to stay in the UK, so what are you expecting the poor woman to do? Eat someone out in order to prove she's lesbian so she can get asylum? You can hear more about what happened to David Cato in Apple's YouTube channel, The Queer News. The first marriage between two men finally occurred in Beijing over the weekend. It is believed, however, that the marriage is not legally recognized despite the couples showing the marriage license because it's still considered illegal for gays and lesbians to marry in China. Hawaiian Governor Neil Abercrombie nominated Sabrina McKenna to the Hawaiian Supreme Court where she would be the first openly gay judge. On the same day, the Senate committee approved a civil union measure which now goes to the full Senate for consideration. By now you've all heard about the controversy going on with Chick-fil-A. It turns out that recently somebody in corporate headquarters stated that they did not support gay marriages or gay rights, but gays were of course welcome at the restaurant. Well this sent a wave of protests amongst the gay community towards Chick-fil-A and then in response to that the president of Chick-fil-A said everybody's welcome. We just don't support um, gay rights and gay lifestyle, which is basically the same thing that the corporate headquarters had said. I don't know about you guys, but I honestly wouldn't, wouldn't eat at Chick-fil-A anymore. Not that there, I could find any here in New York, but um, I would just stick to KFC. I mean, for now, at least, they haven't said anything negative about gays. Not yet, anyways. Or I'd just, you know, go a little bit more ghetto and just buy my own chicken and fry it at home. I don't care. On Monday, Illinois Governor Pat Quinn legalized civil unions for gay and lesbian couples. I'd like to give a shout out to Peter Wentz 
on this Hollywood outing. No, he's not gay at all. He's actually with Ashley Simpson. I think he's married, and I think they're expecting a child because they had a kid or something. Here's why I want to give him a shout-out. He made a very interesting statement, a statement that I have for a very long time supported and have actually tried to encourage my friends and family members to uphold. Here's what he had to say. He says, We're sick of hearing people say, that band is so gay, or those guys are fags. Gay is not a synonym for shitty. If you want to say something is shitty, say it's shitty. Stop being such a homophobic asshole. Again, kudos to Peter Wentz. The Sensei After punks at school hand him a savage beating, gay teen McLean Evans secretly begins martial arts training with Karen O'Neill a woman who has her own axe to grind with the narrow-minded rural community that they live in. But as Evans learns to stand up to prejudice and hate, the boy and his sensei unleash a firestorm of controversy in their small Colorado town. Okay, so here is my viewer question of the week. What do you think of the controversy at Chick-fil-A? I want to hear your thoughts. You can either comment on the video comment on my email which is right here and please don't forget to rate the video once you're done give it a thumbs up and i will see you next week have a great week rate our videos please it is february 1st 20 oh fuck i'm not even looking at the camera i'd like to give a shout out to oh fuck me testing one two three testing one two three the first gay marriage between um, between two men, yeah, okay. The first marriage between testing one two three, testing one two three.